hello guys welcome to solving solutions to your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been um we told you the last time that um we are going to show you how to um calculate or determine the inverse of a matrix and um, on this matrix series we have done a matrix multiplication manually and then we've used them um, this calculator to perform the the multiplication of matrices we also used it to get the determinant of a matrix now on this video we are going to show you how to get the what the inverse of a matrix so the links to those other videos will be on the description section where you can actually assess those videos maybe if you've not seen them earlier on then if you also have any challenge maybe academically you're trying to solve a problem and you need help you can always contact us via our contact details on the channel description and you can always support us as well all right the first thing is that um, we are still using the data we used on the first video when i mean the first video on the video we used a manual method to determine um, the inverse of a matrix so as you can see this is the data we used and then um, with this data we are going to impute the values on on the calculator so the first thing is what you switch the calculator to matrix mode and that's by clicking mode what on your calculator it's mode six same thing here mode six so as we did the other time on your calculator because we are working with your calculator and the mobile app so the essence of working with the both of them at the same time is for you to appreciate how the interface of the mobile app is as you can see it and then you practicing it with your with your calculator so the last time we were working on matrix a so let's say we still have matrix a if maybe the data is not there again we can always impute it so on your calculator now there with you just press mode 6 it will take you to the matrix mode and it will now be asking you are you having one two three that is matrix a matrix b or matrix c so let's say we are having one which is what matrix a so on your calculator now it's asking you to what to define the dimension of the matrix and you saw earlier on that the matrix we are working with is a three by three matrix so you just press one again on your calculator so it has now brought out the interface for you to input what the elements of that matrix for you to impute, impute what the elements of that matrix same thing on the calculator here or on the mobile application rather we are having a three by three matrix as what matrix a so by the time you click on this edit icon here you will see that the previous data we used is still on the calculator because we have not actually changed it so the matrix a is still one two one three minus four minus two and then five three five is that not so now on your calculator with you maybe if it's not there definitely might not be there so you impute the values after the first value you click on equal to to take you to the next um the next cell so you impute the values as they are or as you have seen earlier on the video then after doing that we are doing that on the calculator good we are done so the next thing you are going to do now is since you have actually imputed all the um all the values of the matrix like all the elements of the matrix the values of the elements of the matrix you click on what ac on your calculator you do what you press ac on your calculator so having pressed ac on your calculator you have gone to the default setting now the same thing on this mobile app you just do what you press ac but you are still on the matrix mode so for you now to go and find the inverse of that matrix you go back to where that matrix is saved so you come to what shift 4 on shift 4 on this mobile app you can see the different matrices here but remember we are working with matrix a which is our 3 by 3 matrix on your calculator now please press your calculator on your calculator you can also press what shift 4 so by the time you press shift 4 now it's now asking you dim which is dimension data matrix a matrix b matrix c math answer determinant and transpose so remember we are working with what matrix a 
so you just press 3 you can now see matrix a being displayed on your screen is that not good same thing happens to your mobile app what do you do since you have pressed the um, shift 4 on your mobile app you just touch what touch the matrix you see now that as you can see on the screen matrix a is being displayed and then you see the elements of matrix a so now on your mobile app which you can see now you will see this x raised to power minus one that means one over x you know the normal um denotation of um, the reciprocal of um of of any number like um you have two raised to power minus one same thing as um um one over two uh -huh. so as you are having a situation like that you can see this x raised to power minus one there so by the time you click on it it is now trying to do what it's now trying to compute or calculate the inverse of matrix a so the same thing on your calculator that particular icon is closed or directly under mode uh -huh. it's directly under mode on your calculator just like it's directly under mode on this uh, mobile app so since it's directly under mode on this mobile app it's also directly under mode on your calculator so you just click on it by the time you click on it you will see as it is being displayed on this mobile app here it will now be mat a raised to power minus one then you click on equal to by the time you click on equal to you will see the inverse of that particular matrix displayed on your screen so that's one way maybe if you're in an exam or a test or anywhere and you've carried out the matrix and um, the determination of um, inverse of a matrix manually and you want to check your answer you know the other time we told you you can use the method we used determinant cofactor adjoint then you get the inverse or you multiply your matrix by what an identity matrix so either of the two methods you want to use or any other method by the time you get your inverse you can use this particular approach on your calculator to do or to check your answer so we also told you that the calculator this um casio fx991 es plus is limited to three by three dimension matrix but um on your mobile app we saw that you can get up to what seven by seven so i believe on this video we've been able to show you how to do what how to get the inverse of a matrix on your calculator we've been able to show you how to do what how to get the inverse of a matrix on what on your calculator so we hope we provide a solution to this particular problem and then we thank you for coming to class today we'll see you on the next video until then keep being good at what you're doing and please if you're just watching the video for the first time coming to the channel for the first time please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and thanks for always coming back if you have subscribed and you can always support us because um those are the things that keep the channel going you can see the link to supporting us either on the channel description or on the description section of this particular video so thanks for coming to class we'll see you on the next video until then keep staying safe bye